Hi, and welcome to this review of the Trap Trilogy historical romance book series by Tracy Ann Warren. I'm Olivia, your new favorite resource for book recommendations you can easily screenshot, and you're watching Random Olive Reads. So first up, we have The Husband Trap, and this book starts right with the action, which I love. Violet is on her way down the aisle to marry Adrian, except that she's pretending to be her twin sister, Jeanette, who wanted to call off the wedding two hours earlier and somehow convinced Violet to take her place. Shy and bespectacled Violet knows that she won't get another chance like this and takes it because she's already been in love with Adrian for so many years. The rest of the book involves Violet playing the part of a spoiled and browdy Jeanette while sometimes slipping into her actual good-natured self and hoping that her husband won't notice. Of course, Adrian can't believe his good luck that maybe his snobby and shallow bride actually has kindness and compassion and depth, so he doesn't suspect anything at all and he's just thanking his lucky stars. But you know that the secret will eventually come up and catch uh, up to Violet in the most heartbreaking ways. This was such a good book that I dive right into the second one immediately. The second book is The Wife Trap, and well, after Jeanette is found out for the scandal at the end of book one, she is banished from her home and sent to live in Ireland with her elderly cousins. On the way, she meets a seemingly middle-class Irishman, uh, Dara, who is brash and boorish and all the things that she despises. Well, glad to be rid of him, she's surprised to see him again at her cousin's home, where he is the architect in charge of renovations on the property. So for most of the book, Jeanette is spoiled and bratty and snobbish with no regard to country life, hard work, or depth of character. She interferes with estate construction on multiple occasions just because she wants to sleep light, late, like her usual party-going London ways. She has, like, no idea that her actions can withhold the laborer's ability to work and get paid, and it's just so annoying. Um, this type of story usually involves some sort of maturation of the spoiled main character, but it really was like a painfully slow sort of growth here. Add in the part where the plain old architect is actually an earl who works hard to pay off his family debts, uh, Jeanette looks even more selfish and spoiled in comparison. The third and final book of the series is The Wedding Trap. We have shy and bookish Eliza, who is about to enter her like fourth or fifth season, this time with newfound wealth from her aunt's inheritance. Her longtime crush Kit, the younger brother of a duke, is recruited to help build her confidence in order to secure a suitable match. Of course, once she has gotten new hair and new clothes, Kit notices how attractive she is and is baffled by his reactions to her. This book was about as predictable as you would expect, but still fun to see Eliza build her confidence and her backbone with her successful relaunch into society, at the, and now the gentleman suitors are actually paying her attention. Uh, watch out for villainous, spiteful cousins and unexpected jealousy. Well, unexpected for Kit, who doesn't realize he's actually jealous. And then we get to interact with the couples from the previous two books of the series, so that's fun to see as well. Overall thoughts, I mean, the first book was my favorite, mostly because I love to see the quiet, bookish lady be appreciated for all the things that are commonly looked down upon in society. The second book was my least favorite because uh, spoiled female main character books are just, they don't work well for me. It, they just make me angry. Like, come on, wake up. Be considerate of other people. Uh, the third book was pretty much your typical guy doesn't realize how amazing a girl is until she has flattering clothes and other suitors. However, overall, I really like this story. It was pretty low on the angst and external drama. It so it made for some quick and easy reading, kind of like a warm, cozy blanket. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Links to these books are in the description box below. Like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And you can follow me on Instagram at randomolive.